Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create a bathroom plan. So what I've got on the screen is Visio is open, I'm on the home tab and you can see I've got some home plans already there from before which I've used. You can go through new to get your um, plan but you need to go into categories and select maps and floor plans. So if I go into there, then you've got these different office layouts, floor plans, home plan which is what I want, that one, and then create. And then, quick look at the stencils. So you've got the walls, etc., etc. They've got garden accessories. You've got furniture, electrical, and telecoms, and then drawings, dimension engineering, cabinets, building core, and kitchen, bath and kitchen, which gives you the bath and the toilet and things like that. So let's go back down to the bottom and get the walls and set the scene. So if I push this into the middle and then just make that a lot bigger than it is. So the initial size is 250 by 3 meters. So my bathroom is 2 meters by 3. So let's go for that size. Now you've got different options here, but let's go for the furniture first off and then go up the top there, get the bath and kitchen plan. So first of all, let's put the toilet in there. The toilet sits like that. Next to that, you've got a sink. Now you different types of sinks. Um, B-Day, I haven't got a B-Day in my bathroom, but we'll get, let's put the bath in there. It's got the bath there. Sits the bath there and just push that up a little bit. Obviously, you'd have to measure these gaps and um, whatever your gaps gaps are in your house. I've got the um, dimension window open at the bottom there, so you can see that. And I'm after a sink, so let's go for a pedestal sink. Let's go for that one. Just turn that round so it sits against this back wall, just by the bath, like so. Not right next to the bath. So we've got a toilet, we've got a bath, we probably need to have a door, so let's go get a door. And the door can go there, so if somebody opens the door and they're looking straight at you, either in the bath or in the toilet. Alright, so the door can, you can just pull that little yellow circle, so the door could open either way, so let's go that way. So it's a bit of a shock when they open it in. So you've got this wall here, where if I go back and get the other structures, so... You may well have cabinets um, or whatever you've got, different types of cabinets that you want to put into a bathroom. So let's put base one in there. Let's say there's a cabinet just there. Pull the door down a little bit. Now I once used this tool to design the conversion of my garage into a room and uh, I, never, I never did any measurements. So I just give this as an idea for the builder, not expecting him to go take it as a literal diagram so if you wanted this to be an accurate diagram of what you have to let's have another base unit there next to that you're gonna have to make sure these measurements are accurate so what you've got under drawing tools and engineering tools dimensions you've got these little arrows that you can set in position to give you the proper dimensions of the Thing. So that's the same as the wall, two meters, and then you want the horizontal one for the other side. So if you bring this circle to the edge, you can see it snapping into that little position there, to the corner, and you want that to be Three meters which it is now the bit in the middle there is um, a space that you can get or a shape that you can get that gives you the the inside measurements now if I go back up to um, remember where it is so let's um, search for it might have typed too much stuff in there 
floor space, no measurement. So let's get rid of floor. There we go, room measure. That's what I want. So you sit that in the middle and it gives you the dimensions and obviously you've got to make the dimensions fit the, the shape. So that's not accurate at the minute, so that needs to come in like that. So two meters by three meters it should be. So if I need to drag that, I could actually type it in there to be honest. I don't know why I'm faffing about dragging it. So there you've got your room measurements. You could use these di uh, these dimension. Um, that's not correct, is it? A three four and seven five. Bring that in. Didn't then make any difference, so let's just try and get this to snap into position. Yep, yep, three meters. Okay, two meters, good. Three by two, that's good. Okay, so and then you can do, you can do layers on this. Um, if I click get rid of this search box, it brings all this back. And if you go back up to furniture, you're probably not going to have any of this in there. Not a tr not a plant. We I mean, might have a cactus plant. No, this is us cactus plants. Let's put a cactus plant in there that you can look at while you're on the toilet. Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about in this little session, this little bathroom session. So hopefully you found that quite useful. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.